the boundary between the outermost layer of the Earth, the crust and the underlying mantle is dotted with mysterious regions similar to blob. Scientists have known for some time about these strange pockets, which are called ultra-low speed zones. They slow down the seismic waves caused by earthquakes and may be the culprits of deep mantle plumes, which can lead to volcanic hot spots such as those that created Yellowstone National Park or the Hawaiian Islands. Researchers have postulated a series of explanations about what these ultra-low speed zones are made of and how they are formed. But none of those ideas fits well with the data, especially considering how different they behave from one another. Now a team of scientists is proposing a new model that includes not only a feasible composition but also a history of plausible origin for ultra-low speed zones. Even so, the scientists behind the study recognize that there could be different or even individual variations for other types of these mysterious underground regions beyond their new findings. The core mantle boundary in which ultra-low speed zones reside is incredibly hot and pressurized enough so that when the tectonic plates push below the crust by subduction, they melt and recycle in the mantle. Pressure levels reach 900,000 times what we experience at sea level and temperatures can exceed 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit 1,649 degrees Celsius. When the team of geologists at Stanford University recreated these conditions in a laboratory to try to duplicate an area of ultra-low speed, they discovered that iron one of the most abundant minerals on Earth and a possible candidate material that could explain the areas, reacted with seawater to create a form of iron peroxide that was saturated with hydrogen atoms, according to the new research. This additional hydrogen makes the iron peroxide stable under extreme conditions and denser than the surrounding minerals, giving rise to the different zones that behave differently than the rest of the mantle. The scientists then made a theoretical analysis based on the current body of scientific knowledge about the Earth's mantle, ultra-low velocity zones and their best assumptions, finding that hydrogenated iron peroxide would interfere with earthquake shock waves as I expected. Without the added hydrogen, that would not be the case. The low sound velocities that we calculate for our compound coincide very well with what is observed seismically in ULVZ.